and I'm playing Regina George and our little girls at the stage door and they're like, I want to be Regina when I grow up. And I'm like, no. Ah! Welcome to Tuta Talk, a rapid fire talk show where I get two minutes to chat with some of my favorite people. That person today was first of all in the very first Broadway musical I ever saw, where she played the role of Regina George in Mean Girls. She's been in so many other Broadway shows like Bring It On the Musical, Legally Blonde the Musical, Kinky Boots. She's been in TV shows like Keenan. I really could have talked to her for forever. It is Taylor Louderman. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Going. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for doing this. You're so welcome. Thanks for asking me. Of course, I'm David, by the way. I'm Taylor, by the way. Let's go ahead and get started. So I am going to start a two-minute timer and see how many questions I can ask you in these two minutes. Okay, so first of all, what came first for you? Was it acting or singing? Um, Singing, probably. Singing. And then what was the first musical that you ever saw? Annie. And Oh, that's such a good one. <laughs> you were in Legally Blonde, the musical, and Bring It On, the musical. Were you a fan of these movies before you were in their musical adaptation? Duh. They're so good. You've been in so many like iconic movie adaptations. One of those was the first Broadway show I ever saw with you in Mean Girls as Regina, which- That was your first Broadway show you ever saw? First one. Ah, I'm so honored. Which you were, you were incredible as Regina. Thank you. Who was your favorite character from the movie? I mean, definitely Regina. I mean, you like embodied <laughs> that character. She's so mean. <laughs> Do you have a favorite song of yours that you sang in the musical? Sometimes it was World Burn and sometimes it was Someone Gets Hurt. So oh, it's hard to answer. They're both so good. How was it working with Tina Fey? Amazing. She's actually very quiet. And it's uh, it's lovely to be in the room with her because it, she's always an advocate for the best idea. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. who it comes from. It doesn't have to be her idea, which I think makes for a better product in the end. I love that. Okay, so you were Wendy in Peter Pan Live. <laughs> Would you say it's more stressful doing like a Broadway show or a show like that where it's going to be live on TV? Uh, Definitely live on TV is scary because it had a larger audience and you only have one time to do it. And then you were Tammy and Keenan. Would you yeah, say yeah. that you like the schedule of a Broadway show better or a sitcom? A sitcom for sure. A sitcom. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. And then I saw on your website, now you do like coaching, you do audition feedback. Can you tell me a little bit about that? <sighs> yeah. I mean, I just had a baby, so I'm not doing a ton of it right now, but I really love working with kids. I really love diving into performing and I just find like rehearsal and workshops are really my favorite part of any project. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, that's a way I can stay in touch with that. Um, people can book on my website. I love to help with auditions or just um, working through musical theater songs, whatever it is. It brings me a lot of joy and makes me feel like I'm helping others. So oh, that's awesome. And then we are out of our two minutes, but I did want to ask you last question. Feel free to talk as long as you want on this one. You also had on your website, Write Out Loud. Can you tell us what that is? Yeah, right out loud. Okay, so I was in Mean Girls, and I think like a year had gone by, and I'm playing Regina George, and our little girls at the stage door, and they're like, I want to be Regina when I grow up. And I'm like, no, ah, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> So I kind of, I just, I wanted to, I, I I also had this, this voice right on social media all of a sudden because of the show. And I was like, I really want to use this for good. And I feel like once we do have a platform, there's a little bit of a responsibility to kind of pay it forward. And this was my way of doing that with my friend, Ben, who knows all there is to know about music, musical direction, yada, yada. So we were like, where is there a need in the industry and what tools do we have where we can, you know, that can cross paths. And so mm -hmm. this came up, it's a songwriting competition for musical theater songwriters. Uh, so we're trying to uh, build more Lin-Manuel Miranda's, if you will. Oh. Lin-Manuel Miranda's, if you will. And um, yeah, it took off. We had one song that really like hit it with uh, TikTok. It's called Little Miss Perfect. And um, so now we're we're doing it every year. And it's a lot of work, but we, we made it into a nonprofit. And uh, it's another thing that just fills me with joy. Oh, I love that. And that's on your website as well if people want to find out yeah, more. Yeah, info is on that. Or you can go straight to that website, which is writeoutloudcontest.com. And so the winners of the contest get um, released. Their song gets released on EP each year. And then oh, cool. we also have an additional like 10 songs in a concert in New York City with Broadway performers. So we try to really lift up these songwriters. I mean, and that's huge for them. Yeah, I, that's I, so it's, cool. it's really special. Yeah. Thanks. Well, thank you so much for doing this. 
Thank you. I really appreciate it. And a huge thank you to everybody for watching or listening to this week's episode. Make sure to tune in next time for more Tuta Talk.